Hi, I'm Derek from Good Times Marine, and we are very lucky to have been given the keys to this 580 bow rider from Signature. And we've just done a, a run across Botany Bay. It's blowing about 20 knot northerly, which uh, in Sydney terms means Botany Bay is a messy soup kitchen out in the middle there. We're just hiding behind the runway here. And one of the good things about this boat, it's got 200 horses. Most people thought the 175 was as big as you could go in a 580, but this boat here has maxed out with the 200, the V6 Suzuki, and what a ball terror of a boat it is. Rumour has it that when John Haynes produced this hull and tested it to its limit, he came away commenting that he didn't know how to improve on the 580. It was that good. I've got to say, there is so much to enjoy about it. I mean, it's the kind of boat where it just wants to go hard, it wants to go fast, and bolting an engine like that on the back, it certainly delivers that opportunity. The 175 is an absolute gem of an engine, and to be honest with you, a 175 is more than enough on a 580. Um, in top end speed, you're still going to be achieving speeds around about that 58 to 60 mile an hour mark, uh, assuming it's cropped correctly. And the boat just handles it. It really does handle at that speed. You feel like you don't have to manage any time walks or anything like that. The boat just feels perfectly balanced in the water. The bow rider hulls, the original design, goes back to John Haynes Senior's days racing offshore and the hulls that he used to put together to achieve those, those speed records and uh, race records that he achieved. So what they've done is take that development and the success that they achieved in that and bring that into the, the bow rider hulls so it allows you to own a boat which is fantastic in calm conditions like this. But if you want to go out to a remote beach and you've got a long stretch of water to have to get through and it's delivering choppy conditions, this 580 just chews it up. Coming across Botany Bay then, we didn't get any water across the screen at all, anything coming over the boat. It's such, such a deep-sided boat, you feel so enclosed. I'm sitting up on a bolster here now, so I can see over the windscreen. But you don't feel at all vulnerable or intimidated uh, with the chop. I would happily take this boat offshore, off Sydney, up and down the coast to some of the remote beaches you can only get to by boat. Because of the, the way the boat's put together, you just feel safe. Signature pride themselves in the quality of the workmanship. The production team are continually talking about the way they produce boats needs to be as if they're building the boat for themselves. So if they want the boat to be their boat, how would you want the refinement of the workmanship to be? You wouldn't want it second rate. So when you're buying a signature, you're knowing you're buying the best Australian built boat on the, in the Australian market. One of the great features is the seating of the 580 bow rider is this bucket seat. And these seats are standard in the 580 package. Having the bucket wraparound feature really does give you a lot of support. Uh, so the days you're going out for the run and you're giving the boat a bit of stick, this wraparound feature really does make, it, make you feel like you're secure in the boat. One of the other great selling features is this flip-up bolster. Really ideal for the driver because it gives you that extra height, allows you to see over the windscreen easily, making it nice and easy to be able to load the boat onto the trailer. Or even if you're just underway, you've got people sitting in the boat, you can see straight over the top of their heads. The back of the 580 bow rider is very, very convenient from a swimming point of view and easy access in and out if you're doing water sports. Come standard with the two rear boarding steps and they step up into a nice little non-slip moulded section here at the back of the transom where I'm sitting. The transom door is a convenient little feature to make it easy getting in and out of the boat. And if you like your fishing, the 580 bow rider's got a little secret. This back seat comes out completely. So if you're gonna go for a fish with your friends, you're wanting that extra space in the boat, the whole back seat is removable, opening it right up to the back of this backrest here. That's a huge amount of room and definitely allows fishing with three, four people very, very simple to do in a boat like this. One of the common conversations I have with people when it comes to comparing a, a bow rider, an outboard powered bow rider with a stern drive powered bow rider, is what is gonna be best for that family. And it's not so much which one is better and which one's not better because they offer different benefits. But one of the, I'll point out a few key things about an outboard powered bow rider uh, that's certainly worth considering. One thing is, this is a V6 powered outboard engine, and I'm talking, this engine is running right now, tail, tail's coming out, you can't hear it. The outboards are super whisper quiet. They are the quietest engine on the market. The other thing is the technology that's in underneath this cow is a level which is way beyond any stern drive in the market. Outboard powered 
outboard powered engines have the same level of technology as what you would expect in a modern car engine. They're that good with the way the computers control all the major aspects of the running of the engine. The other main feature is because the engine's at the back, they're not having to house it in the main hull of the boat, you create huge internal room. There will be no way you'd be able to find a 19 foot bow rider that delivers this much cockpit space in a bow rider. To be honest with you, I think you'd be at 23 or 24 foot in a stern drive before you'd get this much room to play with in the main cockpit of the boat. So when you're sitting down with your pen and paper, weighing up pros and cons about this bow rider, that bow rider, outboard versus stern drive, just remember those key features. Your engine's gonna be far better on an outboard and your cockpit space is gonna be far bigger in an outboard powered boat as well. We've got a Qantas 747 over there, fully loaded. We've got a 580 signature bow rider here. It's gonna be a race, straight down the runway. Only thing is he gets to take off and I just hit sand, so I'm gonna to have to pull up a little bit quicker than him, but let's see what the, uh, the acceleration comparison is. Just wait for that pilot to give me a call and tell me when he's about to hit the button and get going. Oh, sounds like now. And is he moving yet, Mick? Rolling starts, trim the engine down. All right, we're off. Woohoo! V6. All right, we're in the lead. Hang on, they're gaining on us. No, we've definitely lost. But I reckon for the first 50 kilometres an hour, we were definitely beating him. So what that means is 200 horses of Suzuki power beats four big Rolls-Royce turbine engines. Could be a little bit of bias there.